Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. 6.15 on a Thursday morning and every morning, the West Shore Home First Alert Skycam Network has you covered here on Carolina in the morning. One of my favorite applications thereof is watching the moon set from Southport. Got a good view right along the river and intracoastal waterway from Oliver's on the Cape Fear. And sometimes the full moon in April is called the pink moon. Not because it's colored pink, but just I think, you know, for the floral uh, ties. Uh, but that's nice setting in the western sky. Next few minutes, you can see that from your neighborhood. Clouds notwithstanding. Fog, much better situation on that. With these visibility metrics, we're measuring in miles as opposed to tenths of a mile. The radar scan, we're checking boxes. This is clear for now. Temperatures. Easy to imagine, I think, that we're making another run into the 80s on the mainland today because we're close to 70 already. These numbers 246810, locally 12 degrees higher than this time yesterday. Your dog walking forecast brought to you in part by a guest cat this morning in socks. <laughs> It's his bird bath. That's what he's saying right there. Tappy, appreciate the photo from Tabor City. Your dog walking forecast features green paws, especially a tail wagon forecast if you like the warm temperatures. Another day where, hey, where the dog walking forecast leaves off at 5 p.m., we're going to pick it up hour by hour with your wind flow and temperature model. This is another day where deep 80s on the mainland makes sense. And middle and upper 70s for the beaches, we're not shivering too hard here. But I want to take you forward 24 hours and trace out a cold front switching up the wind tracers now northeast tomorrow at five no 70s and 80s it's 50s and 60s and continue to fall in the evening let's convert from that same time but i want to take you hour by hour in a second way this is with future radar to articulate that we have a chance for patchy rain tomorrow but it will get more concentrated as we get into saturday chilly air at the surface Warm, moist air overriding that in the atmosphere is an excellent recipe for rainfall, adding up to a soaker from drought slash near drought conditions. This is a benefit. Weekend timing may be something to uh, grumble over, but silver linings always worth finding. This system has a history of producing severe thunderstorms and tornadoes in the Midwest. At least we're not going to get that business and Easter Sunday. The clouds hang tough, Kim, it looks like, but the rain will be lessening in coverage with time. So there's another silver lining, perhaps. Back to you.